question structure. This is important. We'll discuss this inside out when we start with our exam and our training. But for today, you should have a little idea on how the questions are going to come. What is included, what is not included. And they have given a very clear structure. So first, they are in MCQ format, multiple choice. Equally weighted question, so it does not have, if the question has a little bigger theory, it will have more marks, no, it will have the same kind of marks running. There is no negative marking as we have asked right now. Then as per this, exam will not have formats like except, true or false, not wherever possible. So no true and false. So true and false cannot come because they are already saying it's an MCQ. What can be expected? Any options will not include any of the below. No answer, all of the verb, A and B only, B, C only, cannot be in a mind, not enough information. You are not going to have any questions which will ending with any of this. You can have most likely. The words like most likely can come in. I have given you the list also. So it will not be A is correct, B is correct, both A and B are correct. That kind of questions are not going to come in. What you get is most likely, best described, most appropriate, most accurate, least accurate, least appropriate. What you need to do here is you have to read the question properly. Now, what happens with my experience over a period of time in last 10 years of so teaching students running here is uh, when you start writing an exam, you get when you get a question which is very familiar to you. You're like, oh, ye to aata hai. and done, you start writing it up. And in that hurry, we forget that they would be in that instead of most, it is least. If we miss the least, we might not get the right answer take. So you have to read the questions and instructions very, very, very properly. That is the first success mantra when you are writing the exam. Read your questions properly. You might think the time is less. Yes, at times time can go less. But if you have speed build up, you can go. And that is what we will practice here together. Building up that speed. 